Now we'll go into Asteroid and have a look at using Profiler. So we're now going to create a Profiler task in Asteroid. First of all, we have the Profiler button on the main toolbar, and this opens the blank Profiler task. We have the three groups as described, as well as candidates. So I'm going to look for a profile of family life readers. That'll be my target group. And I simply click and drag the family life reader group into target. I'm not going to include a reference group, but I need to put in candidates. And we have major demographics, and that's basically a range of demographic items. Having specified target and candidates, I can now run the profile. So here we have the family life readers profile. First of all, the database that we're using, candidates that we've specified as major demographics. We have a context group of all, and we have target group of family life readers. And by default, it's ranking on index comparing target and context groups. We have the list of major demographic groups. And for each of those, we get a context weighted count and context percentage. So we can say 51% of the population are women. We have the target weighted count and target percentage. 85% of the target group are women. We're looking at the index column first of all. And we can see with reading the index that our family life readers, which is the target group, are 67% more likely than the context group, which is the general population, to be women. So that's our highest demographic characteristic. Because we haven't added in a reference group on this particular profile, there are no reference group columns. So I'm going to go back into selection and add a reference group in for comparison. Back into media, and we'll choose good taste readers. And run the profile again. So we still have the same index for target and context. What would be useful is if we wanted to compare the reference group with the target group. So we would need to rank on this column. We can go into Settings Task, and as described, we have the three index options. So I want to compare the target group with the reference group. So now we can see the order within the major demographic groups has changed. If we look across at the target compared with the reference column, we can say that the target group of family life readers are 74% more likely than the reference group, which is good taste readers, to be from an older household. One important thing to think about when comparing the target groups and the reference groups with the context is how actionable the information is. I'm just going to change the settings back to the default of target compared with context group. So where we can see that the target group is 67% more likely than the context group to be women, we can back that up with quite a high target group percentage. When we look at the next item, we can see that the target group 51% more likely than the context group to be parents with children aged 6 to 8. However, when we look at the target percentage for that candidate group, it's only 13% of the target group. So really there are few people overall who are parents with children 6 to 8 within the target group. If we go down through the index a little bit, we can see that the target group are 40% more likely than the general population to be white collar workers. And we can back that up with a target percentage of 28. So that's a little bit more actionable. One final example within the index comparing target and context group is this one, the main grocery buyer. So we can see that the family life readers are 33% more likely than the context group, the general population, to be the main grocery buyer and they are 78% of the target group. Just going back to selection now, you can actually specify target groups or reference groups where you're combining different items. So for example, we have here family life readers. We may add to that by saying we specifically want to target those in the southern region. Just as you do with filters, it adds in an ampersand to indicate the and. And of course, you can go into the target and change the description to something appropriate. Just returning to the original profile that I created. When you're putting a profile together, you're looking at the index and the target percentage or the weighted count. 
But essentially what you can do to report the profile is to look at the highest index values when combined with the target percentages and you can bullet point the characteristics that make up the profile of your group. So for example we could say the profile for family life readers is that they are women, that they are white collar workers, that they are the main grocery buyer, they are parents of children in the household, they are aged 50 plus and they are either married or de facto. And of course you can add to that profile as appropriate.